If you don't want to get rained on. If you see Sarah Wall, go the other way. Exactly. And when you see me later and I look like I got rained on, say, so good. I was confident that she was going to say yes. I hope yes? so, right? Yes. You don't involve the media if you think there's a chance she may not say yes. And those great weekend weather updates. Yeah, Michael's got good news for us. We like yeah. him on this Wednesday. Thank you so much. Hey, I had a dog that used to sing when I played the flute. Really? Yeah. The R -R. Either he loved it or he really hurt his ears. <laughs> Probably that. An early morning kitchen fire at a Mobile apartment complex caused many people to be evacuated from their homes. Mobile police shut down a business they say was being used to sell drugs on the street. Police arrested Rick McMillian and his brother Mac McMillian yesterday. Uh, this is a heartbreaking turn of events. This is absolutely not what we were hoping would happen. And right now our prayers go out to her family, go out to little uh, Hawaii's family and friends and all of those in our community that have been praying and hoping for the best here. Fox 10 News reporter Candace Murphy is actually at the scene where the body was found. And Candace, a very difficult question to ask, but do, do we have confirmation? All right, Candace, thank you very much. And, and understandable, the feelings that Candace is, is seeing there and that I think everybody is feeling is, is disbelief. How could this happen to a little girl? Who would do this to a little girl? Why would this happen to a little girl? Parents out there, everybody can relate to this. And this is a, a tragic turn of events for a situation we were hoping and even police were talking about as of 10 o'clock this morning. Optimism and bringing little eight-year-old Hawaii back home alive, safe and sound. A Fox 10 News reporter Letitia Bush is at the staging area that police had been using as a headquarters. Letitia? A preliminary hearing is set for a mobile man accused in three back-to-back -back robberies. Justin Phillips was initially charged with three counts of first-degree robbery and one count of probation violation. Two additional robbery charges were added yesterday. A popular tourist attraction is holding its grand reopening this morning. Gator Alley was closed after it was damaged during April's historic flooding. Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander joins us now live with more. Good morning, Steve. Good news at the pump this morning. Gas prices are still falling. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded is 334. That's down a dime from a month ago. Let's take a look at the gas prices in our area. In Mobile, a gallon of regular unleaded is going for $3.17. Drivers in Pensacola paying a whopping $3.49 a gallon for regular unleaded. And it's the cheapest to fill up in Pascagoula. A gallon of regular unleaded is going for $3.09. Gallon. And up to the minute traffic report with Aaron is coming up after this break. Also, a new president has been sworn in in Afghanistan, and the U.S. led coalition is not letting up on ISIS militants. The latest round of airstrikes aimed at targets in four provinces in Syria. Traffic. All right, Aaron, thanks. And we'll check back in with Aaron for another traffic report in our next half hour this morning at about 6.50. Right now, it is 6.21. President Obama speaks out about the fight against the Islamic terror group ISIS. The president says the U.S. intelligence community underestimated the growing influence of ISIS and what's necessary to achieve peace in Iraq and Syria. The president says the U.S. laid the groundwork for peace in Iraq, but unless the people learn tolerance, there will always be fighting. Fighting. Meantime, there's no let up on ISIS in Syria as the U.S. led coalition flew more airstrikes today. Today's targets in northern and eastern Syria are in four provinces, including Alep and Raqqa. The entrance to Syria's largest gas plant, a Conoco facility, was also hit. You have another chance to chime in on a proposed I 10 bridge over the Mobile River. A public forum is being held tonight in Baldwin County. It will be at the Five Rivers Delta Resource Center, that's on the causeway. Way in Spanish Ford. Alabama Department of Transportation officials will have a presentation beginning at 4 o'clock. That will include a video animation of the proposed bridge from above as well as inside a vehicle. ALDOT engineers will also be on hand to answer questions. The public forum begins at 5.30. You will have to sign up to speak. An American doctor who was exposed to the Ebola virus has been admitted to the National Institution of Health near the nation's capital. NIH says the physician was exposed to the virus while volunteering in Sierra Leone. He was flown to a regional airport in Frederick, Maryland yesterday, and he walked off the plane wearing a white protective suit. You can see him right there. The doctor was then taken to NIH in Bethesda, where he is in special isolation for observation. 
There's a new place for kids to play in Mobile, thanks to hundreds of volunteers. 200 volunteers came together and built a new playground at the Kiwanis Boys and Girls Club in the Crichton area. The 48,000 square foot space also features walking paths and fitness stations for adults. And get this, this whole thing built in six hours. 